I got into candle making a couple of years ago. I first started with soy candles, then tried out making coconut wax and soy wax candles which I really loved and I've shared a tutorial on this in the past on my channel. But what I found challenging with soy wax candles was trying to find a completely clean soy wax to use as it often contains a small amount of paraffin wax which is toxic to breathe in when lit. Beeswax on the other hand is much easier to source and provides a longer lasting candle as it burns at a much slower rate compared with soy wax or paraffin wax candles. Beeswax candles can also be especially helpful for those with allergies as they're good at removing common allergens like dander, dust and mould from the air. The only problem I've found with making beeswax candles at home is tunnelling. This happens when the beeswax only melts around the wick creating a tunnel in the middle of the candle and it leaves the remaining beeswax around the jar unaffected. This happens with beeswax candles mostly because beeswax burns very hot so it can be challenging to find the right combination between the wick and your jar to create the right ratio where the heat from the candle will burn away all of the wax. To help with this, blending the beeswax with a softer oil like coconut oil will help bring down the melting point of the candle creating a more even burn and stopping the candle from tunneling. If you still find that your candle ends up tunneling, you can simply remelt the wax and make it into a new candle. It took me quite a few attempts to get the right ratio for my candles. I find that adding two to three wicks inside the jars helps to burn all of the wax more evenly. Pure beeswax also tends to crack if the candle cools down too quickly. So if this happens, that's okay, as it won't affect the burning of the candle, it will still burn effectively. To make the beeswax candles, start by pouring two cups of pure beeswax pellets, or if you're using a block of beeswax, shred it beforehand, and pour this beeswax into a metal pitcher and place the container in a large pot of water. Fill just enough to cover the outside of the pitcher without spilling over into the jar inside. Then bring the water to a boil. Turn the heat down to medium heat and stir the wax occasionally until completely melted. You want to make sure that no water spills into the pitcher. Once the beeswax has completely melted, remove the wax from heat and pour in half a cup of coconut oil and stir to combine using a bamboo skewer. Add in 30 to 50 drops of essential oils of your choosing. I love using lavender oil. Then stir that through and pour a small amount of the wax mix into the bottom of a small jar. Return the pitcher to the hot water to keep the wax melted. Place a wick into the wax, keeping it to the centre of the jar. I used a 60 ply cotton braided wick number 4, which I cut into pieces, measuring them against the jars for length. You can use a skewer to hold the wick securely in place while the wax sets, as it will take around 5-10 to 10 minutes. Fill the jar with the remaining wax and leave about an inch of room at the top. Then, wrap the end of the wick around a skewer or pencil until taut and lay it horizontally over the jar. This will keep the wick in place while the wax hardens. It may take a few hours for the wax to completely set, I usually leave mine overnight. Once the wax has completely hardened, trim the wick to about half an inch then it's ready to light. Do not trim it any shorter than this because it will make a smaller flame which may cause the candle to tunnel. During the first burn, keep your candle lit for at least two and a half hours, or until the entire surface is melted. This will also help encourage an even burn later on as the candle melts. And that is the full tutorial on how to make beeswax candles at home. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do let me know if you try this candle recipe yourself and how you go. I'd love to know. I wish you a wonderful day and I'll see you soon again.